went into f45 i'm doing pilates this morning because as you guys know i sprained my right butt cheek muscle and it hurts so bad like well it doesn't hurt it's like a it's a strain but i can't it's a weightlifting day and if you have a strained muscle you definitely aren't supposed to really like lift heavy weights so i just noticed that a lot of the exercises i have to modify or i can't do like i had to like modify them on tuesday because it hurt my muscle and it was a lot of like one-legged squats or deadlifts and so I just had to do like even and anyways I think it's just exacerbating it on the weight day so Pilates a lot um, like there's no weight it's softer less impact it's not that there's impact but anyways it's just gonna be better and I'm gonna stretch and everything so I'm gonna do that and actually the Pilates is literally three one two three three doors down from at 45 so it's perfect um so i was doing pilates like twice a week and i kind of want to get back into it but i'm just like addicted to f45 like i love it so much so i just change them in and out and f45 like i love the um crew i feel like it's like our family like when we go there so i just like don't want to miss it because i like going to see everybody because especially with the pandemic like you just don't really get to see people so having like going into like you know somewhere every day where you see the same people is just like a nice feeling um like familiar faces right um all right so we're wearing an aloe set that is like literally actually probably the softest material i've ever felt in my life in this boohoo men's uh plaid I'm about 30 minutes until my class starts so I'm going to maybe watch a YouTube video or answer some direct messages to emails things like that and this lens looks so dirty is there, is there I think there's dust inside that lens wow maybe we just need to get a new camera anyways okay I will see if I can bring you into Pilates I don't know if they allowed filming at 45 they I feel like we know them way better and they're just like really chill with it I'll see you about Pilates. Okay, we are home from our workouts and I am going to uh, meet my sister-in-law to get our nails done together. So I'm just making a little iced coffee to go. What time are you I'm, it, the appointment's at 12. Okay. So, what and we leave this little pitcher in the fridge specifically for Americanos because um, one of you guys the Starbucks barista and we used to use hot water for our Americanos and pour it over ice like idiots 
and you're like, just use cold water. I was like, duh. So now we use, um, we have this cold pitcher. We keep in there just for Americanos and we don't use this for like drinking water or anything, but it's nice to just have cold water ready to go when you want an iced coffee. So there we go, a little cream, metal straw. I just got out of the nail salon. I, like I said, met my sister-in-law to get our nails done because we are road tripping to the beach um, in a couple days. And so we always like get our nails to get done together before we like go out of town. Um, so that was really lovely. And I'll show you guys what I got. I just literally kept it natural and I got OPI bubble bath uh, in gel. So I like literally can't get a normal manicure anymore because I feel like it just doesn't last. So I normally do next gen, which is dip powder and I like do tips and stuff. And I thought about it, but I was like, you know what? The sand and like all the sunscreen and like just vacation, like I think shorter and just like natural will be more the tempo that I'm just going to need. Um, so, you know, I just went with my natural nail length and a very sheer color, it like almost literally looks clear. Oh yeah, I know people um, ask all the time if Hunter and I ever get sick of each other working from home together and uh, being around each other all the time. And yes, we do. I think like since quarantine, it's been like even more concentrated. We're pretty cool with each other for the most part, but definitely get on each other's nerves. But I feel like we're just the type that is, we get on each other's nerves and we kind of bicker and stuff, but like, you know, we just kind of go with it. It's not like we don't let it upset us and you know, be like, oh my God, I need space from you and whatever. We're just like, you know, but sometimes I'm like, I'm going somewhere by myself, or he's like, I'm gonna go do this, or you just state state your needs, you gotta communicate, you know what I mean? But um, especially with vlog week, it gets really like we're, you know, recording, we're editing, we're like very, very in touch and like in sync. So vlog week, sometimes we are like, okay, hey, you're annoying. can't believe it. Okay, so, thank you. I'm supposed to be packing, but I'm not, because I just don't feel like it. I look, yeah, this is like Saturday hair, like on the couch, chilling. Um, so yeah, we're supposed to be packing for our trip, and we haven't started yet. Jolene, and Jolene, 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 Jolene. 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 I know. Like a lot. I got some stuff to do outside. Yeah. Hey guys, what are you doing? Alright, so before we start packing, I'm gonna move over the laundry and I'm actually gonna throw in a load of some new bedding that we got. Uh, from Brooklinen. So thank you so much to Brooklinen for sponsoring today's video. So Brooklinen is like a home brand. They sell bath towels, beach towels, sheets, bedding, all sorts of stuff. And they basically wanted to recreate the kind of hotel experience at home. So giving really beautiful, amazing hotel quality sheets, um, for like a little bit more of an affordable price, which I'm really excited about because you guys know we just get our sheets like um, we get really kind of like moderately priced sheets and we've never actually really had like nice sheets. So we got their core sheet set, which is the Lux, and it comes with pillowcases to um, a fitted sheet and a regular sheet. So I'm gonna throw these in the wash first to wash them up before we put them on. But I think like I'm gonna just put all of the bedding on. So when we come home, we have like fresh clean bedding and it's ready to go. Well, we'll sleep in it tonight, obviously. So we'll get to do that. I also got a duvet cover, which is the 
also the luxe material so it's gonna be clean and crisp and white which i'm really excited about i also ordered some new bath towels for our bathroom which i'm really excited i love just clean white and these are super plush and feel really really soft and amazing so i got six towels the sheet set and the duvet so i'm gonna go ahead and wash all of this get it all cleaned and everything and then we will make up the bed and i'll show you guys the bedding on the bed it's gonna be so cozy and crisp and hotel like brooklinen is actually relatively new they were founded in 2014 by a husband and wife who wanted to find beautiful like home essentials that really didn't break the bank and they make luxury sheets and bedding and towels without like the markup so you basically get to create like i said a hotel feeling in your home which i'm all about like, tons of different colors um subtle patterns whatever you want there's tons to choose from on the website so you guys can get 20 percent off of your order over a hundred dollars when you use my promo code on brooklinen.com i will put it here on the screen they are so comfortable and can't recommend them enough for like a good sheets company and bedding and everything so i will leave all the info in the description box down below if you guys want to use our exclusive discount code and check them out all right having an afternoon snack while i edit some videos these are all crumbled these are so good though Okay. And one of you guys who watch the videos and follow us on Instagram actually make your own salsa and you sent us some. You sent us the mild, medium, and hot. I wanted to try the hot and the medium. I tried the hot a little earlier and it's so good. But I want Julia to try the hot, and I want to try the medium. So, that's our snack tray. <laughs> right, like. Right. So, hot, medium. Okay. These are really the hot's really good. Is it hot? Like spicy? no, no, no. I don't like it too too spicy. The flavor is nice. Mmm. Really nice. It's like real salsa. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Wow. Really good salsa, huh? Really good salsa. We can get better chips. Oh, good though. Delicious. Thank you. We'll leave the information in the description box yes. for these salsas. They're so good. So good. I feel like they taste like really authentic. Hands down, better than any other salsas we we're trying. Hands down. Those are like some fake ass salsas. Mm -hmm. Remember the other stuff we were buying? So good. That's authentic. Okay, time to do makeup. I will just have to figure out what's happening. Um, excuse you. With um, my outfit after. I should probably take this hoodie off though. Sorry, could you, could you leave? Nice and fresh, glowy, but covered. So yeah, I use the Huda Beauty. This is the um, faux filter high coverage foundation. And then I like mixed it with a little highlighter because it is very like sticky and full coverage, but it still looks, sorry, I'm trying to get like a textured feel for you so you can see, oh, there we go. So yeah, it's like definitely makes you look like super snatched and flawless. Um, um, I thought it would be fun to make a little pre-dinner drink. What do you think about that? Is that right? Yeah. Well, I, I guess that is. I don't know if that was. Uh, well, from the back, it looks like it's maybe like a dress. Uh, so what I ended up wearing is with a pair of denim shorts underneath and these little um, heeled sandals from Windsor.
and then a bunch of my necklaces different necklaces layered god loyally clasp uh, miranda fry hrh there we go look at the birthday boy he looks so cute what are you wearing asos shirt asos shirt it's yeah like it's kind of skinny too tight. i like it no no, no it looks I, uh, really good i just like loose you can't button any further but and then these are forever 21 yeah like chino pants love it and then my fry boots looks so good cutie i really <laughs> like it All right, shot. yeah we're gonna take a shot i just want a small one please we are ubering so we can have a nice time with our friends at dinner and not have to worry about driving home. Okay, I'm chasing one. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Love you. <sighs> Breathe it out. I'm good. an ant in my pants yesterday actually <laughs> when I took down my shorts to go to take a shower it was like on my leg I think from when we were sitting in the grass um but oh yeah we're at brunch thank yummy you. absolutely thank you so much perfect thanks my pleasure we are a tad tired from last night so we wanted to treat ourselves to a little brunch so we got a crab dip this looks so good and a wedge salad mm. all right i got some chicken tacos you got a salad and a chicken salad sandwich yeah. okay so we finished up lunch and we were driving around a couple neighborhoods and we came by hunter's childhood, childhood house neighborhood childhood his, home yeah. yeah well now we're in front of his childhood house but his whole neighborhood and we're just reminiscing. We we did this in Petaluma <laughs> with your vlogs. This is the first place that we hooked up. Yeah. In that room right there. Okay, here's Hunter's child at home. Uh oh, we're dying. So cute. These lots in the neighborhood are all like an acre each. And so it's like a little spacious. Very cute. Did you play on that basketball hoop? Yeah, we played out there so much. Probably annoyed the neighbors. Yeah. You know, like the basketball bouncing. Yeah. Echoey. Totally. I used to like catch crawdads in the creek behind our house. Oh. Yeah, Is that your yeah. yard through that fence? No. Yeah. And there's a batting cage back there. Oh yeah. Okay. I was just like fenced in. I see. That's a huge backyard. That's fun. Did you guys have parties? Like baseball. We have like, we have, like birthday parties and baseball like parties. baseball parties and like that type of like hosting. Yeah. That window on the left was our uh, office. That's right. I were writing an essay in there. Right there. Yeah. And then the next window over was our... And the, that was your room, right? With that window right there? Yep. That was the only room upstairs. That was Hunter's room. And then my brother and sister were down. Oh, well, it was a good little house. Good house. Their tree looks like it's maybe dying. Right I here. moved here when I was in seventh grade. Yeah. And then my parents moved out my senior year of college you guys moved a lot come to think of it okay we're looking at houses here so this one's this is cute a dull 
my childhood neighborhood, but these are all newer. This is like a newer section. Of More renovated. That's cute. And look at this white one. It's so nice. You're gonna show it. It's like a little more traditional, but I like it. Yeah. Very well done. I like the front porch. I like those trees, Hunter. That tree on the right there. That mm -hmm. is a perfect tree. I agree. That's beautiful. And those bushes on the front patio are really nice. I love it. Good. All right, what's up everybody? We are still packing for our trip. I'm drinking a beer, a little impeachment IPA from Arlington, Texas. One of the better IPAs I've had in a while. I used to drink a lot of IPAs and haven't had one. I kind of got over them. I drank a little too much in San Francisco. Too much Lagunitas. So, I figured I'd try some new beers out. So we bought some at the store the other day. Anyway, wanted to show y'all that I got some of these face masks from Forever 21 and I got like five or six of them and I'm just putting them in my pouch for my bag. There's like a little pouch that comes in the cow pack bags. And so I'm just like stocking this up with some of these masks. Now that they're kind of cool, but they were like good little masks. Comfortable, soft. Yeah, Forever 21. Good stuff. We're about done packing. You're ready to go. Almost like finished ready packing. Ready? I got all my bathing suits, my shorts, my pants, my the shirts right one. here. The big one? Yeah, and I'll have some extra room. And I got my shoes up there that I'm taking. My shoes, I'm gonna take these shoes obviously. These are my go-to slides for like casual dining and whatnot. But yeah. we're going to Chipotle Goose. Chipotle Goose. Chipotle Goose. Chipotle. What do you want, Goose? We're gonna go to Chipotle. You can't have nothing from there because you want, you're a dog. You want chips, you and, move the chips and guac? Yeah. Is that okay? Turning a new leaf. With the laundry. laundry. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna grab some Chipotle. We've been packing for the last, like, what, 45 minutes to an hour? Yeah. It's really easy to pack for the beach. It's so easy. I and kind of it's also it. kind of nice to pack when we're just, like, taking a vacation because we're just gonna be, like, chilling. Exactly. If we're gonna be doing too much. We're just gonna be, like, hanging out at the beach. Exactly. So, Wait, where's my sunglasses? We're at a boutique hotel the first two nights. Yes. Um, at 30A um, at Alice and Beach. And it's in Rosemary Beach, actually. We're yeah. so excited for that because we really want to explore more of 30A. All right, sorry, the camera died. Okay. So we're going to be at 30A and then, for a couple of days. And my yeah. brother, his wife, and kids, and my parents all get into town. We're and we're moving together. over to their yeah. location where they're going to be. We're all going to be together. So. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, it's gonna be like a cool little vacation. Uh, we have like our own little private beach, so we're not gonna be around anyone except our family members. Yeah. We're excited to vacation and like yeah. just kind of like check out for a little bit yeah. from work and whatnot. We're not gonna be going to like bars or anything. Yeah. Or... Just wanna like read, listen yeah. to podcasts, yeah. talk. We need to charge our AirPods. Maybe I'll, I'll get lucky. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Um, we do need to charge. I don't know where my AirPods are. I think you stole them. No, I didn't. I found mine the other day. Goose, you're looking at me like you need something. I feel like I have okay. a cut on my nose right here. Yeah. Anyways, we're going to Chipotle. Okay, we had our Chipotle. So good. We forgot to show it. We were just really enjoying it. You got the usual bowl. The bowl. You got a new burrito and it was fire. Yeah, it was very similar order than normal, but as normal. But I did barbacoa instead of chicken. Really good. Hey, can we go to the top of that parking garage and the sunset will be at the top? It's over there on the left? I don't think so. I don't think we can. What's happening over here? Is there like a movie happening? Mm -hmm. Like a drive-in? It's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Drive-in movie? Why don't you think we can go there? You're such a hassle. I don't know. Um, we can try. We can try whatever. Anyway, the toilet was so good. Sorry we didn't show you. Yums. Good call in the chipotle. Yeah, never fails. It never fails. It sometimes does. Sometimes when you get a faulty chipotle. Yeah. Location. <coughs> Ruin the experience. Some workers like also just like don't care about how well so, they make your burrito. Some chipotle workers have no passion. Zero passion. It's all Zero about the passion. Pash. It is. It the passion is needed for a good it's burrito. Crucial. They have to love what they do. Have to. 
It's like sandwich makers. It's exactly. like you can't just like whip together a shitty ass sandwich. No. You have to like put love into put it. love into the sandwich making. I couldn't agree more. Because, I mean, nothing's more annoying to me when I'm ordering a sandwich and the person just like, they're not distributing everything across the whole sandwich. They're just like stacking it all in the middle and just like, here, good luck. Oh, yeah. That's not <clears throat> fun. That's why every time I order like something from somewhere, I take it apart and like fix it up again. Yeah. You go to Chick-fil-A and they stack the three pickles on top of each other instead of like spreading them out. It's like, what kind of shit is that? This is where the cowboys practice. Oh, it's cowboys. It's called the star. But it's kind of like a hangout Those spot. Those people are not anyway. quarantining. They are not quarantining. <laughs> We're social distancing. We have no part of that. Yeah. COVID's a cancer. I'm just walking the streets. Mm -hmm. All right. <clears throat> so, what, what, what were we talking about over there? I was thinking. Yeah, keep going straight. Okay, we're gonna take a picture really quick and then. Do want to shoot back. her fit? Yeah. She's got a fire fit in her mind. It's cute. All right, Hunter's baking some cookies. And, oh yeah, I should have told you to use the other <laughs> beaters because those ones, the dough gets stuck in it. That's right. Okay. You know that pretty good. Yeah. These are not for us. Athletes don't indulge in cookies. These mm. are for our neighbors. Right. <laughs> right. To <laughs> the drinks. <laughs> All right, so we are going to FaceTime with Delaney and Clayton, um, some of our friends. I don't know if most of you guys know them. They are bloggers also. And yes, we have friends. Yes, we have friends. <laughs> no. Um, I know we don't really show our We try not friends. to show our friends and family too much just because it's like, it's like, I don't know, it's like an invasion of their privacy. Yeah, it's like not everyone, you would think like, oh, why don't you show them? But like, not everyone wants to be on a camera. And not that they um, say they don't want to be on camera. Like sometimes you Yeah, but it's tell. kind of rude to like, be yeah. like, I'm vlogging and, and you have to like, be there. Yeah. I don't know, I can't describe it. So we just try to like, when we're with people, just enjoy it and like not put- Make anyone feel awkward. Yeah, not make anyone feel awkward. We don't want to be like the ones always like, I mean, anytime people are on us, we have the camera in their face. Exactly, you just- so, I mean that's either here nor there, but whatever. Oh. I mean this dough is just spectacular. This looks like a very nice consistency. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm doing? Are you doing M and M's? Will you do a couple M and M ones for me? Mm. What recipe did you use? So maybe we don't have friends. <laughs> we don't have friends. <laughs> we didn't either. Someone said that we should freeze the, the rest of the doughs. Genius. Go ahead and make them into balls. We're such idiots. And freeze them. It makes sense. I mean, when you buy cookie dough, it's usually frozen or like. I know. We're, in We're such packets. ding dongs. Ding dongs. We should just freeze the rest of that, and then we'll eat fresh cookies when we get home. Love it. It's genius. Here, I'll do that while you book. Cause well, come on, we don't need any more than that. Twelve cookies I mean, before I, tomorrow. I might need that many. <sighs> really into cookies lately. I don't know what it is. Now that you're freezing it, I'm trying to make them bigger. <laughs> you what? They're big, babe. They're... How am I gonna do this? Like, should I do them in the balls? <gasps> you squished it. Is this still good? <laughs> Hi! Hey! We're, we're making, making cookies. We're making cookies. <laughs> well, that's what actually took me so long to call because I made all the cookies and then I realized I forgot to put egg in them and we didn't have an egg. We text the neighbor because she gives us everything and we were like, oh, she'll, every time we text her, she always has what we need, vanilla, eggs, whatever. We go, hey, oh, we're like, oh, text the neighbor. And then we text her and she goes, oh, I'm not home, sorry. We were like, no, we have to go to the store. Nice, <laughs> what'd you make? We made um, vegan chicken and rice and broccoli. Yum. Yum. Very, very simple meal. Yeah. yeah, totally. How are you guys? We miss you. Oh, we're vlogging right now, so say hi. There's Delaney and Clayton. Okay, we just got off FaceTime with Delaney and Clayton and it's 12.30, that was, what was that, three hour FaceTime? Yeah. Time flies when you're having a 
Two hours and 42 minutes. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So we had a lot to catch up on. Um, they actually have a YouTube. So Delaney has a YouTube channel. It's Delaney Childs, and they vlog together. If you guys want to check them out, they started vlogging. Yeah. Probably like they haven't been vlogging as long, but they're starting to do it every week, and yeah, they're super cute. These cookies are okay. They're not the best. All right. So Hunter is making a little mask out of. Um, well, maybe. Well, might, maybe we're I might gonna. Just, I might just wait. Your your crooked cutting is really crooked. What do you mean? It's just like. Not like it good. should be like this. It, it's like jagged lines. You here go go thicker just to start, because you never know. So I cut the essential short today. No one can hear you. Okay. okay so everyone has essentials, fear of God. Well, he makes sweatpants. And I never wear this pair of sweatpants. And I was like, you know what? I would love to cut them into shorts. So I did. Here, come over here. The lighting's better. Sorry. So I cut them into shorts for our trip. I'm like, oh, they'll be really cute. And they're really cute now. But the bottom has this part on it. I saw these. I, like, I oh. saw them in the trash. And I was like, oh, that could be. I was either gonna say yeah. that could be a good like headband or a, a good, good mask. mask. Well, you know, you could probably the headband cut that. Might work. With... It's not yeah. Pretty much a headband. Well, well, then I can't get over your head for a mask either. Well, oh, you need strings. How do you mean I won't be able to get over my head for a mask? Well, you know... This must be like similar to a math equation for you. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> so here's what I'm thinking. Why don't I just do like little holes on the side? Right. And, or like cut little squares out. Yeah. And it just fits and over then my face. Oh, that's such a cool mask. Good yeah, because you needed it to, to yeah, it's good so thing fun. you went thick. I love it. You're so furry. You are furry and beautiful. All right, this is my poor attempt to make a mask. I'm usually pretty artistic and creative and crafty, but this was a fail. Didn't turn out bad, but it's all right. Morning, home team. Good morning. Morning. All right, we're finishing up packing. Finishing it up. Got some errands and chores we gotta do. About four hours until we gotta leave here. Mm -hmm. So, but to get to moving. Yeah. But at least we did a lot of our packing yesterday, which is good. Yeah. We went got honey lose this morning. We did that. We did iced americanos. We dropped um, off Noah. At the place that watches him. Or BB. Where we watch him on video. I love him. We definitely upgraded that bitch to gold this time. Oh, for he sure. has his own little mini sweet room. He gets a peanut butter Kong every day. Yep. And, and a frozen treat and at night. And yeah, he's got he's got a little luxury suite going. So that's go. nice. Goose. Good for Goose. Good for Goose. Goose is moving up in life. Yes. Alright, so anyways, we're gonna finish packing, kinda get the show on the road. All right, I'm making a little breakfast. Just two eggs. And some fruit. A little pre-travel, pre-travel snack. Okay. Okay, eat a little breakfast. And then we are almost done packing. Okay, so I think I am all Packed. Yes, I overpack. It's a problem. I'm well aware of the issue. Um, but I just really like to have options. So, don't like to be without things on vacay. So, I'm going to close that up. I got a shower and yeah. All right, we are ready to go. Walking out the door. Here's our travel looks wearing sweats and a bodysuit, sandals. I'm just wearing black cutoff shorts, my slides with some essential socks. And, a tea. and this Urban Outfitter long sleeve tee. Tea. Cute. Okay, well, we're headed out. Hope you guys enjoyed this little travel prep vlog. Yeah. And we'll see you when we get back. See you soon. Bye. 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 Bye.